Hey everybody, welcome back to another Slime Fun tutorial here on my channel. I'm your host Boomer and today we're continuing part two of Fluffy Machines. We have three categories inside of Fluffy we're going to look at today. Portable chargers, tools, and the wrenches. Let's get started. To begin with, we have ourselves an infinity charger here because I wanted this to go quickly for you, but we're going to look at each one of these. They start in a range of 128 joules per second. I'm sorry, 120 joule capacity. It's charging at 8 joules per second, all the way up to capacity of 65,000 joules, charging at 4,000 joules per second. And as you can see, the ranges change as you go up or down. So we're going to charge a Carbonado one, and you'll see just how quickly this charges. Look at that. We already have 65,000 joules in there. So to access the charger, simply right-click the air. You'll see the portable charger opens up, how much power we've got remaining. For our purposes today, we're going to charge a portable teleporter. Boom. Done. And you'll see Fluffy has told us, hey, it's already full, so get it out of there. We've lost 50 joules, exactly what we want. And we have a fully charged portable teleporter. Real sweet. Moving on, the next one we're going to look at here is the scythe. Now, the scythe is designed to break five crops at once. So it can help you clear out farmland a whole lot faster than simply just using a hoe or any other tool. And it is enchantable, and I put Fortune 3 on here and tested it, and I am seeing to get between five and eight more carrots every time I've been harvesting my farm. So let's go ahead and break a row here and see just how many did we get. Well, we got 25 out of one row. Now, while that is possible in vanilla, that is very rare to get five uh, out of five carrots. There they go. So 49. So we got 24 that time. So it does allow you to clear a whole lot of area a whole lot quicker. All right. Next, we do want to talk about the watering can. Now, I haven't gone through the entire list yet. I know it works on uh, vanilla crops. It does work on trees. I did manage to do that. I'd actually tested the watering can on a two by two tree. Only one of the saplings grew. So it won't plant the two by two. The watering can simply needs a water source block to be what you fill it up with. So we'll top mine back off. It can be 10 uses. Now, just to give you an idea, it speeds up the growth, but don't expect the same as a bone meal effect. It's not quite that fast. If you're early on, you don't have a bone meal farm, or you don't have any other way to grow crops, this is a nice way to get it started. So if we see, it took me, okay, 10 uses, right? We've completely drained it out, and the carrots aren't quite there. So while it does speed it up, there we go. So now we have fully grown crop, we can farm it, and we can replant whatever we got out of that. So it will speed it up somewhat. And like I said, if you don't have bone meal out of the back, it's not a bad tool to have. We'll just take a quick look at the recipe for the watering can. So if we pull up the watering can recipe, here we go. Five iron ingot and a bucket. That's all there is to it. So it's a great early game source for when you need to get some plants growing or some crop growing and you just don't have the resources and you want to wait 24 hours of in-game time to get a farm this big, you can use a watering can. All right, some other tools we have. Let's get these out of the way. Some of my favorite tools. We're going to start with the upgraded lumber axe. Now, inside of Slime Fun, we have a lumber axe. The upgraded lumber axe can chop down an entire 2x2 two two tree at once. Also, this has a diagonal reach. So the reason I've specifically planted jungle was to test this. As you know, 2x2 two two jungle sometimes has offshoot branches that grow kind of weird. For example, here we go. So the two block reach, I'm guessing this row right here will probably re remain. But let's go ahead and hit this tree. And guess what? It actually caught it. So in a little bit, we'll have all those saplings come down. It'll be awesome, but it clears the entire tree out right off the bat. All right, next we're going to go to the upgraded explosive pickaxe. This one will break a 5 by 5 by 5 125 blocks per. So you will chew through its durability a lot faster. And just like the upgraded lumber axe, you can add 
unbreaking, you can add mending to it. And if you have the unbreakable run from Foxy Machines, well then you don't even need to worry about unbreaking or mending. You can simply run with that run. So, clap it right in the center. Boom! You want to talk about being able to clear a ton of area in a very short period of time. Two clicks cleared out 250 blocks. Now take a look at the durability. It did go down 250. I don't have unbreaking on it. So for every block it breaks, you do lose the durability accordingly. Upgraded Explosive Shovel. Another great tool, especially if you have to clear a lot of dirt very quickly. This one also clears in a 5x5. Five five. So we can simply smack the center of it. Boom. There goes 250 dirt. And just like the other tools, same thing. For every block it clears, it can clear durability very quickly. That's why it's very important when you're using the Upgraded Explosive Tools to get as high of unbreaking and slime fun as you can get. If you're curious how you can get really high slime fun unbreaking, by default, Unbreaking 10 is available just from the uh, 12 karat gold boots. Not bad. All right, my other favorite tool in here is the Paxel. For those of you who play Sky Grid, this is a great tool if you have Slime Fun and Sky Grid combined. Because as you're clearing grid, if you've ever gone grid clearing, if you know what I'm talking about, when you're clearing from Y equals 256 down to negative 64, and you're clearing everything from dirt to stone to wood to grass to you name it, the Paxel will automatically change to the appropriate tool to mine whatever you need. So when it hits stone, it turns to a pickaxe. If it hits dirt, it turns to a shovel. If it hits wood, it turns into an axe and identifies automatically the proper tool you need to clear that particular block that's right in front of you. All right, for our final section today, we're going to talk about the fluffy wrenches. Now, each one is a upgrade of the previous one. And what they are designed for is clearing slime fun blocks very quickly. So the basic fluffy wrench, same thing, can work with unbreaking and mending as can the upgraded one. Now the carbonado fluffy wrench is actually based off of power. So that one simply needs to be charged. Hey, you know what? We have a fully charged carbonado charger. Why don't we go ahead and charge up Fluffy's wrench? There we go. We have 5,000 joules in that sucker. But just to give you an idea, here's all you got to do. Just right click them and it'll pick it up. Right? Let's grab our carbonado wrench. So you'll see it does consume one joule per use. So if you're going to go ahead and, and you're going to use a lot of cargo and there's a chance you're going to move cargo, I'd go ahead and recommend the carbonado. Now again, with the other ones, you can put on braking on, you can put mending on and repair them, and that's totally fine. Here's what else I love about these wrenches. They don't work on just cargo nodes or capacitors or regulators. They also work on almost all slime fun machines. They will not work on certain ones like networks and a couple other of the add-ons. They won't work, but they work on probably 95% of all the machines in Slime Fun. Makes them a very handy tool, especially if you're like me and you constantly are redesigning your base. It makes it real simple to just get stuff out of the way, pick it up, and move on. So guys, that is part two of Fluffy. We'll cover everything else in the next episode. As always, thanks for watching. I really appreciate your comments, your feedback, and everything you guys do to support the channel. But don't forget, when you're playing Slime Fun, you gotta go Boomer or you gotta go home. We'll see you later.